Hi everyone, my name is Adam Shaw, I'm the founder of At Dad's Table and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a family friendly spiced courgette, pea and feta fritter. So first of all thank you to Giovanna and all of the Happy Mum Happy Baby team for inviting me. Um, I'm a Leeds trained chef um, uh, but I also specialise in pregnancy and family food recipes. Um, I've got two uh, crazy boys of my own, a three-year-old and a one-year-old. Uh, the three-year-old's at nursery and the one-year-old is asleep next door. So let's hope he stays asleep, because uh, that'll be fun. Um, and uh, I, I cook with my kids as much as I can. Um, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to be cooking with my three-year-old right now, because uh, his attention span is, is, is about that big and he'll be off through the door. Um, so probably not the best for this video. Um, but I do cook with the kids all the time. And this dish is a really, really good one. Um, that not only lets them, you know, have a play and have a feel uh, and, and gets them um, interested in different aspects of cooking, um, but it's also one that teaches them about different textures, different smells, different spices. Um, so it's really, really one of my favourites. So we'll, we'll talk more as we go, um, but I just wanted to say that um, on the bench in front of me, um, I've got two garlic cloves, uh, I've got two courgettes, um, a couple of spring onions, I've got about 100 grams of peas, uh, I've got some feta, I've got some eggs um, and I've got some uh, flour and baking powder and then we're going to use a um, turmeric yogurt as a, as a dipping sauce. So I've also got some yogurt and some more turmeric. So first of all, let's get started. Um, the first thing that we can do with the kids, uh, obviously, you know, keep them away from, from sharp knives uh, unless you've got older ones, but I've just topped and tailed the courgettes. Uh, and then what they can do um, is if you've got a box grater like this, um, it's just uh, grate the courgette. Uh, it's really, really easy vegetable to grate um, and you'll get it done in no time. And then when we've grated it, what we'll need to do is uh, get rid of the water. Uh, so courgettes um, are full of water uh, and that's something that we just want to get rid of. Uh, before we start cooking, um, otherwise the mixture will be really, really watery and we can't use it. So that's one grated. Um, again, as long as you're supervising any small children or if you've got older children, um, this is a really, really easy one. Um, quite often when kids grate, you know, parmesan or something hard like that, it's quite a tough thing to grate. So they get a little bit bored or they get frustrated or they can't do it. Uh, courgettes are nice and soft. So that's something that's nice and easy to do with them. So I put, um, I put a sieve, a colander over the bowl. So let's just put that into the bowl like that. And you can see when I pick this up, just how much water is in there. So this is a really nice kind of messy thing that you can do with your kids. Um, obviously clean your hands first as we all have, um, and then just get them to pick up the courgette and just squeeze. It's really, really fun to do. Okay, so that is most of the water out. So I'm just going to drain that and put this, so I've got two grated courgettes in a bowl. My hands get the rinse. And then next with the grater, um, I'm gonna use garlic. So I've got two chunky garlic cloves. I'm gonna use the small bit of the grater and grate that. And grate that. Get rid of that. So I wanted to um, to come on and, and do some cooking with kids stuff because I know you know after the last year <laughs> we've all been cooking with our kids quite a lot. Um, but this is just a different way of, you know, baking something that isn't banana bread or, you know, full of sugary um, snacks or, you know, quite often when we bake with kids or cook with kids, we kind of get sucked into, you know, just making cookies or just making cakes or just making sweet stuff. Uh, it doesn't all have to be sweet stuff. So I've got a couple of spring onions. Um, again, a fun thing for the kids to do is to peel them all back. So I'm just going to do that quite quickly. And then we're going to... Um, chop them as thin as we can. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to do two for now. Um, obviously, chopping them isn't for small kids. Um, 
And if your kids are using knives, supervise them as much as possible. Um, but I don't let my three-year-old obviously anywhere near a knife to chop at the moment, he's far too young for that. Um, so those are our main greens, and then we're going to take the peas. Um, another fun activity um, is we're going to mash them a little bit with a fork. So nothing major, but just squeeze them down a little bit so they start popping a little bit. It just makes it a bit easier to cook, um, and I think it, it, it works well with the recipe. So that's another thing kids can do. There we go, that's all mashed down. And I'm just gonna add that in there. Um, I think that's pretty much actually all of the, um, the chopping I was gonna do. So let me take this chopping board away. And I'm gonna bring my cooker here and I'm gonna turn it on because we're gonna start using it soon. So I just want it to heat up a bit. Um, so next up in this bowl, um, we are going to add two eggs. Again, uh, get the kids to crack the eggs. They love doing that. Although recently my son cracked an egg, threw the yolk on the floor and the shell in the mixture. So uh, that wasn't, needs a bit of explanation there, obviously. Um, and then I'm going to uh, add some spices. Um, so I'm using turmeric and coriander and cumin. Nice, gentle spices that you can really taste, um, but obviously aren't spicy or anything I'm going to block, um, blow any more socks on. So I'm adding about a teaspoon of each. Uh, it doesn't really matter um, if you use more. You know, I'm not really someone that uses that specific recipe, um, ingredients and measurements, so that's all of those three. Um, and then I'm going to mash it all up with my hands. So again, Get your kids to do this because they will love that and you don't have to. Um, so mix it all up. Uh, it smells because of the turmeric and the cumin um, and the coriander. It just smells so nice. Um, I think sometimes when, when, we, when we do bake with kids, we don't have those spices and those flavours. So that's something that's gorgeous. Um, so now that I've done that, um, I'm going to get a sieve. Give my hands a rinse. And we're going to sieve the flour. And the baking powder. So I've got 100 grams of flour and a teaspoon of baking powder. Um, put that over. Again, get them to sieve it because it's fun. Um, my three-year-old when he sieves, he moves his entire body. It's really funny. Um, so the flour just goes everywhere. But again, that's part of the fun, isn't it? Um, so now that we've done that, I'm going to also add a lemon. about half a lemon um, and some feta. So first, let's mix the flour in a bit more. So obviously the flour makes it get a little bit firmer um, so you can start frying it into that gorgeous fritter shape. And next up, we're gonna squeeze about half a lemon juice in. If you put your hand under the lemon juice, any pips will fall into that. So you can just take those pips out. And then about half, half a pack, maybe about 100 grams of feta. So again, you can do this with the kids. Crumble that up. And that is, is it. So let's just give that a bit of a final mix. Get that off my hands. Give my hands a final rinse. As I said, it's a really, really messy recipe, but sometimes with kids, the messier is the better. So I'm just gonna hold this up, so you can see it's this, uh, the turmeric obviously has made it turn yellow, which is this lovely, gorgeous color. Um, I'm gonna get a pan on, and I'm gonna put a little bit of vegetable oil in, probably about, one teaspoon maybe, just give it a good coating. And this is obviously where if you've got young children, you know, get them to, to step back a bit because um, you're gonna do the cooking if you've got older ones again, you know, it's up to you, you can cook a bit more with them if you want. Um, and then I'm just gonna basically pick up a handful each of the mixture uh, and start cooking it off in batches as soon as this has warmed up. Um, and I'm gonna cook them for about three, four minutes aside, maybe about three minutes on the first side, two, three minutes on the second side, until it goes 
this lovely kind of browny, um, really beautiful yellowy green colour. Um, so yeah, so let's see how I get on. That is warming up. I probably should have put that on first. Um, and then whilst those are cooking, we're going to make our dipping yogurt. Um, obviously, any kind of uh, any kind of yogurt works. Um, I'm putting in the turmeric um, to again add a bit more spice. Uh, turmeric is also full of so many good things um, that it's just a, a great way of getting extra vitamins um, and nutrients in. Um, but also, what you'll see is, is that the turmeric just turns. Um, the bright white yogurt into this lovely golden uh, yellowy colour that just works really really well. Um, so I'll do that as soon as I've got the first load on. Um, obviously you batch cook these so I would probably cook about three or four at a time. This recipe will give you probably about 16 maybe, maybe 20. Um, so I'm just going to put one piece in and see if that's ready to cook. Yep, it's starting to fry. So Let's see how this goes, shall we? So, in terms of size, I think I'm going to do about that. So it's about the size of the palm of my hand. Starting to sizzle, that's a good sign. So I think in this pan I'll probably get four. Uh, I don't want to overcrowd it because that takes the, the heat of the pan all the way down. Um, so obviously it depends on, on your heat source and it depends on the, um, the size of the pan you're using. Um, you can get your kids to do this. Um, you, you can, I would say, get them to put the um, stuff in the pan, but I think that might be a bit risky um, just because there is hot oil there, so you're probably better doing that. Um, but they can, by all means, do this and put it in the pan. So I'm just going to let that cook. Uh, I've got messy hands again, so I'm just going to rinse those. Uh, and again, um, so if you can see, um, we're going to cook that for about three, four minutes each side, um, and then get it to, uh, and then I'll just put it on a plate afterwards. Um, so when it comes to to um, cooking with kids over the summer holidays, you know, I, I think in the last year we've probably all become absolute um, professionals at, um, at batch cooking and, and um, cooking three meals a day for all of our family. But I just wanted to share um, a few ideas what for what I do. Um, again, I've got a three-year-old and a one-year-old, um, so my food requirements are, are a little bit different. Um, I'm not one that necessarily plans out my week when it comes to cooking, but I do try and make each recipe go as far as possible. Um, and everything that I do make, I try and make sure that it's, it's freezer-friendly, so you've always got that stock of um, dishes in the freezer. Um, so as well as, you know, your spaghetti bolognese and your chili con carne, um, which always is great for, for batch cooking, um, Stir fries are brilliant and go straight in the freezer. Um, you can also do, um, you know, shepherd's pie, cottage pie. Swap in a sweet potato instead of starchy white potato to make things a little bit healthier. Um, I'm a big fan of um, making risottos. Um, and obviously with leftover risottos, uh, you can make arancini, um, which is another great thing to do with kids. Uh, I do that a lot with mine and they find it really fun. Um, so I'm just lifting those up a little bit to make sure they don't stick. Um, let's, let's hope they come out well. If they don't, it'd be pretty funny. Um, but they've probably had about two minutes cooking. Um, I can never leave things alone. I should always just let things cook. It's what everyone always says, just let things cook in the pan. But I never can. Um, so that's, that's batch cooking. Um, with, um, with stuff that I make with my three-year-old, um, it's all, yeah, it's quite basic things. But we make, um, we make a lot of cheese straws together. Uh, that's something that we do, which is really, really fun. Um, banana pancakes, um, I do a lot of that with him, French toast, um, just things where he only has to do one or two steps, you know, put, put some brioche in some egg or crack an egg or, you know, mix a banana in or, or, or something like that. Um, and then he can go off and, and play or terrorise his brother um, and then come back. I obviously do most of the cooking, but he can say, I made that with daddy. Um, and that tends to, to work quite well. So I'm just gently flipping these over now because we've got a bit of colour. So I just want to... I'm obviously not going to cook all 16 now uh, because that probably won't make great TV. Um, we're just going to do a few now. Um, 
we'll just flip that one and then we'll start making yogurt. Uh, yogurt is obviously easy for the kids to make. Um, and let's flip. Perfect. So let's let the app cook. Um, next up, yogurt. So we're going to use, because uh, I always use um, full fat Greek yogurt um, to get as much you know good stuff into my kids as possible. So we're going to use around 100, 100 grams. Again, it doesn't really matter, but probably about half of this tub, which is probably about 100 to 120 grams. And in there, I am going to add about a teaspoonful of turmeric and then I'm just going to give it a stir. God, it's such a nice colour. Um, I'll come around actually and just show you. You can see that the yoghurt has taken on this lovely golden appearance. So we can use that as our dipping yogurt. So just put a couple of spoons in there, put that there, and these he says praying should be almost done. Yes, they are. So great, um, great finger food. I, I give these to my one-year-old. Um, you know, from six months on, they can start having all of these different spices. Um, yeah. So turn all of that off. Uh, let's get this plate. So that was what, fifteen minutes from the start of me waffling on to getting all of the ingredients done. Plated up and ready to eat. So let me bring this round. So here we go. Um, so here we've got um, spiced courgette, pea, garlic, feta, spring onion fritters uh, with a turmeric dipping yogurt. Um, it tastes absolutely gorgeous. So those are three that I've just cooked in the pan just now. Um, I've got loads. Um, they'll last for about 48 hours in the fridge maximum because of the feta. Um, they'll make probably about another 14, 16 from those. So that's it. I hope that's fun. I hope that was useful. Um, you can find me on Instagram at, at Dad's Table. Um, my debut cookbook, um, How to Grow Your Family, is going to be released at the end of the year which is going to be um, sharing about 120 recipes, taking you all the way from pregnancy through to weaning and, and family food. Um, and again, thanks again to, to G and everyone at Happy Mom, Happy Baby for inviting me. Um, any questions, ping me on Instagram and thank you very much. Cheers, bye-bye. to Ocado for helping us bring you food and family lifestyle and if you like this then there are so many more exclusive videos from the Happy Mum Happy Baby virtual meetup for you to enjoy and watch. Just head to happymumhappybaby.com to find out more. Enjoy!